Technological convergence is described as a tendency for different technological systems to evolve towards performing similar tasks. And to this end, organizations and governments across the world are increasingly adopting convergence models to deliver better services. This was the thrust of the West Africa Convergence Forum held recently in Nigeria's commercial city, Lagos. Leaders and decision makers across the technology industry gathered to underscore the importance of convergence in critical sector of the economy and human development. And then many jobs that are closing up like that. Again, I manage people like I said, the critical function, part of our duty, is documentation. So for every staff I engage, I need to have the personal uh, details, guarantors, details, and all of that. And I noticed by the time my staffing was becoming about three to 4,000, I needed a big room to store the data, the facts. And I imagine what would happen when my staff numbers double and triple. Then I need a whole building for storage. So it dawned on me again to explore technology and convergence. And what happens currently is, once you apply for a job through us. Speaking on the theme, convergence and the new deals, entrepreneurship and employability. The Chairman House Committee on ICT, Muhammad Anau, says there is need to encourage the growth of technology, a new level of thinking within the confines of a knowledge-based economy. Information and communication technologies have supported employment explosion and enhanced employability, not to state that it has created the young billionaires in recent times. Today, we do not look at ICT in isolation. We look at how ICT has helped to foster convergence of one standalone sector to become one that has converged with another sector so that there's endless debate today. For example, whether the broadcast sector and the telecom sector should be deemed as one. Mr. Olusoji Owawoye says that employment should focus on mere roles to be performed instead of traditional terms of employment with work hours tied to fixed office location. He urged Nigerians to intensify more effort to keep up the changes in the ICT world as well as continuous self-development. So part of what is happening increasingly, and employers must take notice, the employee of today are getting younger. You are having also more of the female folk who are climbing the labor ladder. So they do not have time for the where are you meet, where have you been to, and all of that nonsense. Then what motivates them is you just tell them what you want to achieve and they will deliver. Without the loyalty that the current work, work employers demand. So what I'm trying to get us to understand is that loyalty, all those policy issues, handbook and all of that, we need to begin to rethink them. Speaking on employers' perspective, he encouraged the employment of online professions and flexibility in workplaces as he found it to be a factor in increasing productivity amongst workers. The employee of today, not tomorrow, is already happening, are not interested in all those policies and procedures that where well, ATM, resumption, and what? They're more productive. The overhead costs will go lower. They can service more clients without being tied necessarily to one employer. West African Convergence Conference seeks to drive divergent services and regulatory approaches to addressing convergence trends. It is a platform to identify unique need areas for investment, collaboration, and other interventions.